this is Stampy, and welcome back to my Let's Play on The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I am here doing the final, what I assume is going to be the final, Divine Beast in the, the game. I have completed two out of the, the four terminals so far, so, so far so good. I haven't been, I haven't been too stumped this far. I mean, it all could end now, but <laughs> so far so good. So, the terminal I'm trying to get to is just through those bars there. And there's a bunch of water, so I'm assuming I'm going to have to do some stuff with eyes. It looks like I might be able to nudge, like, this piston up. If I put that down there... Oh, can I reach? I can just... Oh, there we go. So that's lifted the piston up. Oh, that's going to start the room spinning. So I want to go as fast as I can. Actually, if I just make it go the other way, and then I can get to, to here, and then this should be able to, to lift me up to, to get to the, the next part of the, the room. Okay, that was that was simple enough, but I'm doubting that's going to be all I needed to, to do. Yep, I can see more more stuff, more challenges for me to, to do in the, the next room here. And it's all really tilty. It's like it's all like lifting me up on this side here. There's waterfalls kind of coming down there. Not enough of a waterfall for me to build ice in them, though. But I could put ice underneath them. I don't know how that would help me, but it's something that I can do. Anything I can use stasis on? Ah, I can use stasis on this. Uh, what about magnesis? Nothing I can use magnesis on. So normally, if they allow you to put stasis on something, that's for a reason. So <laughs> I'm probably going to have to stasis this. But look, this I can stasis. And these little bits on the outside. Oh, do you think? Do you think I'm meant to like do this and like stasis this and then give it a whack and send this thing spinning? I'm not entirely sure, but hey, let's just go and do a, a bit of a, an experiment and just see whether anything happens, whether that changes anything. Uh, cause I'm really worked. Okay, that's got that spinning. That's good. What's this? What? What's this spinning doing? Oh, my ice broke. Oh, I've turned the water off. Okay. Oh, and it did a little, which <laughs> normally means that I did something right. If nothing else, I have revealed the the location of a uh, a secret chest down here, which I had no idea was going to be down here. Ah, access down there as well. And they gave me a really rubbish spear as well. So great. There, there's been rubbish loot. Considering this is like one of like the the last kind of like things that you do in like the DLC, they've been really stingy with the the loot in this. I have been expecting better things than I have been getting. So right there. I'm back down here. Let's go and step on this and let's see what this does. Ah. Oh. Okay, so that, that allows me to get the ball. Do you think I just need to switch the ball and put it like in front of this instead and then fire it off again? Okay, hopefully I don't need to have this ball where I am. Let's just launch. Oh, there we go. Oh, that got a spinning. And that's going to lift the water back up again. And now I should be able to use the uh, the cryonist to, to be able to get up to the, the top there. I kind of accidentally solved that one. I did not realize the ball was going to go and get the, the, the water going. But that was cool. That was a really, really clever puzzle. And I'm super duper duper clever for being able to solve it. Yeah, sure, Stampy. Sure, Stampy. I'm just giving myself a, a slow pat on the head there just to say, well done, Stampy. Aren't you impressive? Everyone's really impressed by you, Stampy. <laughs> right then, so that's three out of the, the four terminals complete. Uh, that means we've got one more turn to go. And it's always, a, it's always a bit of a challenge just getting to the terminal. It's not just like the challenge of solving the, the terminal. Getting to, to it in the, the first place is pretty much as much of a challenge. Let's go, let's go and enter the door up. Um... Yeah, can I, if I go here, can I get back up? Okay, I can, I can go back up the ladder. I just didn't want to have to, to go and do the whole getting up here again. There was an enemy that I didn't defeat earlier that I left, like, roaming about. Oh, okay. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Can I, can, can I save now? Let's, let's do a save because there's one of these guys, and these guys are so, so mean. I might even, and these are pretty precious, so this is a big deal for me. I might even risk trying to use an ancient arrow on them. Maybe trying to, like, stasis it and then using the, the ancient arrow. Because those flying ones, they're kind of ridiculous. So this guy shouldn't be as difficult. Oh, no, I'm using... Oh, why am I using a hammer against it? A hammer! <laughs> I might even use this... Um, oh, okay. I think the hammer was still spinning. So it didn't let me switch. But yeah, let's go and try and use uh, use this thing against this guy. Because uh, otherwise I don't know what I'm going to be able to do against it. And oh, it did the laser! I was ready for anything apart from the, the laser. I wanted it to swing at me. And then I thought I might be able to, to like dodge back and do a fury attack. But this thing is so strong. I seem to be okay. All right, I'm going to try and hit the laser back. I'm going to go quiet. Oh, I missed. I missed. Not good. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna change plan. I'm gonna change plan. Oh, I'm gonna pick my stuff up that I dropped because of that. I'm gonna stop it, and then I'm gonna go and try and get a guardian arrow. And I nailed it. And I nailed it. That was intense. That was really, really intense. Then. <laughs> oh, I got, I got a cool shield though for this though. So that is jolly good. That thing fell on the floor. And how much loot was there down there? 
Oh, there's quite a lot. Do I go get it now? Do I guess I think it might disappear. Okay, I'm going to go get this now. Then I'm just going to go and... Oh, no, it's okay, actually. It landed down here. And now I can just go and climb up the other ladder. I kind of wanted to go to this side anyway, actually, because I want to go and check out this room because this is the, the room with the, the final terminal in. Looks like there's a platform which is making its way back and forth. Is there anything that I need to do like outside here first before we get into things. Let's go and climb up the, the ladder and let's just have a look around out here because normally there's some way you need to affect the room from the outside first. So let's just see, is there anything I can say? Okay, I can stasis stuff. Ah, do I need to put a metal block out here? Or maybe if I slide this out, is it, are these gonna then link up? Oh, nearly, they nearly link up, but not quite. Oh, that's really frustrating. Oh, can I, does it, can I just pull this one out? I can. Right, let's not lose this because <laughs> that's going to be really important. So I think I need to push you all the way back. I need to link this guy so it goes inside of here. And then I should be able to pull the other one forward. And then that's going to get the, the, the room spinning, which I assume is going to be something that I need to do. Can I even fit it in? Oh, it's close. It's close. I reckon, I reckon if I get it right, it's going to end up locking in. It's kind of like spinning around all over the place. How do I just make it? So I don't think there's any way just to make it like spin. Like how, like, cause I can move it around, I can push and pull it, but it's just like facing the wrong direction. So I guess if I just try and drop it and then pick it up again. There we go. This seems to be facing a, a bit of a, of a better direction now. Let's just try and line it. Oh, so close. No, don't spin around again. Don't start spinning around again. Oh, come on. That's in, isn't it? I mean, close enough. Close enough, game. Come on. Oh, it's just start spinning around again. <laughs> I guess I can try and like use this block to kind of spin it around. Then it kind of often like just goes back to where it was before. Yeah, I might have to... Yeah, let's just place it down. Let's get it completely the way I want it to, to be. So I want it to be like... Mm, okay, not completely the way I want it to be. <laughs> oh, there we go. That looks... That's kind of good. Is this not what I'm meant to do? Maybe... maybe Do I need to link it to the that side? No, it definitely looks like it should fit in there. Because I did this earlier for, for one of the, the other terminals. I was able to, to link it in before... But this one, I mean, it's kind of going in a bit wonky, isn't it? Ah, this is frustrating. This is frustrating. <laughs> like, I know exactly what I need to do, but I just can't. So I guess maybe if I walk around on the floor, then I can kind of turn it around to where I need it to be. But I can't, I don't really have very much, much room to move around where I am. Maybe if I go back here a little bit, I can get it a bit more lined up. Is that right? It's really hard to judge. It looks like it is. Oh, there we go. Is that in? There we go. We got it in. That was more difficult than it should have been. And don't think I didn't spot this chest down here. If you were about to, to comment saying, Stop it, there's a chest. Oh, I saw the chest. It's going to have, like, rubbish in it. All of these chests have just had a load of rubbish in, though. Ah, bomb arrows. That's that's the best loot we have found so far. It's a few bomb arrows. <laughs> Which is a, a little bit bad, considering how much good stuff I could have been getting. So, right, now I just need to, to get this lined up. And then slide it forward. I guess if I just keep pushing it this way, once it gets lined up, there we go. Now we have the, the whole thing spinning away. So, all right then, uh, let's go back inside of the, the room. And let's see kind of how it changes uh, now that the, the room is all spinning. So, where was like the, where does the doorway line up so I can get in? Do you reckon like here? Yeah, I reckon this is going to be where I'm going to be able to, to get in. And let's try and work out what it is I'm going to have to, to solve here. So, we've had water, fire... Just magnety stuff and ah, wind, of course. <laughs> the other element, wind. Right there. I have a lot of experience dealing with wind. Hey, stop sniggering in the back. Right, let's go up to the, the top here and let's try and work out what it is that I need to, to do. So it's not like blowing me back normally, but I reckon if I try and use my paraglider, it's going to send me fly. Oh, this is good actually. I should be able to do this and go woohoo. That was cool. That was cool. So that's allowed me to, to get all the way up to the, the top up here. Now, the tricky thing is as I now want to, to glide back in the other direction, but I won't be able to because of the, the wind. Can I, can I stop the wind blowing while I'm up here? Hmm. What happens if I just, let's just try and glide and yeah, it's just not gonna happen, is it? Not going to, to happen. Oh, can I use stasis on the fan? Oh, I probably can. Okay, okie dokie dokie, he's right. So I wanna not use stasis on it yet because I want to, to make sure I can have it to, to get over to the, the top up here. Then let's see what range I have on stasis, whether I'm going to be able to stasis, uh, stasis it all the way from over here. And I can. Okay, that's good. And then do I need to land on that platform, do you think? 
I don't know if I land on it, if it's just going to end up, like, knocking me off again. So, let's just try and get to the, the other side of the, the fan. I can always stasis it again to, to get back through to the other side. Looks like we have a bit of a, a baddie to, to deal with here. And, oh no, my battle axe is badly damaged. But, it looks like there's another one lying down on the, the floor down here. And these things are amazing. So, let's drop my... Let's drop this rubbish spear, which I picked up a second ago. <laughs> and let's grab a, a spare battle axe, shall we? So, maybe this was just to, to get the bonus stuff the rubbish bow, which I don't want. Uh, <laughs> I guess I did get the, the battle axe. So yeah, I don't think I actually need to, to be behind it. Oh, okay. I mean, that did the trick, actually. That Because that, that made it so that the... Um, yeah, that stopped spinning. It doesn't really make much difference. But the, the platform's still going. So where is this terminal? Let's try and look. So the terminal... Is, oh, is, 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 is it behind there? Oh, it's up there! Okay, so it looks like maybe I do need to, to land on that on that platform then. Hmm. Okay, I don't know if I can just reach it by just my my normal gliding though. It just seems like I mean that platform just seems too far away. Oh wait a minute. Do I need the fan to go in the other direction somehow? Then that way it's going to like suck me forward. Okay, oh, can I can I stop stuff through on this side? Is that going to make the fan go the other way? No, once again, that just stops the fan. So this isn't going to allow me to reach it, is it? No, that just drops me all the way down there. I think I need to find some way to make the, the fan spin in the other direction. So there's cogs at the back there. I could try and stasis them, but they're a little bit like... <laughs> a little bit out of range. Oh! If I do this, does that do anything? No, I don't, I don't think changing these... Oh, did that do anything? Oh, yeah, look, it's been sucked the other way now. Okay, I got it. I got it. So we weren't trying to stop the fan. Well, I think uh, the only reason I'd want to stop the fan was to get the, the chest. All I need to, to do is to make it so it's kind of sucking the, the wind forward rather than blowing it. So what I can do, though, is I can stasis that platform just to increase my chances of actually landing on the, the thing. So there we go. That was good. And then, ah, now I need to stasis the, the fan just so I can get through it without being, um, yeah, turned into to sliced and diced link. <laughs> Which wouldn't be very good. So I need to wait for it to, to recharge. Hopefully it's going to uh, finish soon. Ah, that kind of fan was a little bit in the, the way. But no worries. I was able to, to get through. And there we go. That is four for four out of all of the, the terminals. And that should be the main part of the, the shrine completed though. Uh, not the shrine, sorry, the uh, the divine beast. But as I'm sure, if you have been watching my Let's Play or playing the game, you know that that isn't the, the end of the, the the divine beast. There is always a boss that you need to, to battle at the end. Oh, go fast, go fast, go fast. Whoop, that was dangerous. That was a little bit too dangerous. Then. Oh, it's sucking me backwards. <laughs> yeah, basically, uh, that was a bit dangerous because I could have been sucked into the fan. And oh, no, I got to Actually, let's just turn this the other way and then <laughs> the doorway will be back here. I feel so powerful when I'm just like manipulating all of these enormous things. So, where was the door? Is the door at the end this way? Okay, here's the door. And it seems like it's unlocked now. But I don't think we are quite done yet. So, I can stasis. I can magnesis these guys. And ah! Okay. Is that locked into place? I'm, I'm going to stay, like, pushing forward into it. In case it's not quite... I think it's going to be locked in now. There we go. There we go. So, that should be able to, to open up the, the doorway. And... Oh! Oh, maybe there isn't a boss. So... I wasn't sure if there would be, because this isn't like the normal Divine Beast. This is part of like the, the DLC. And this is like very different compared to the, the Divine Beast. So let's just see what we get at the, the end. Hopefully I haven't done all of this just to get one measly spirit orb. <laughs> right then, let's uh, let's go and uh, see what it's going to, to say after completing it. I really enjoyed that. I mean, they were much more like normal shrine ones. Anyway, you have proven the, uh, you've proven to possess the power of a true hero. Thank you very, very much. There was actually some more difficult fights in that one than the, the other ones. In the name of the goddess Hylia... Oh, it's moving. Oh, of course, actually moving. Oh, this isn't a boss. Oh, this is a little bit scary. These guys are scary, like, anyway. And now they're moving. It's even scarier. And these guys are like... They're, it's probably good. It's probably friendly. But it still is terrifying. And I think it's going to be a boss fight. I think I need to fight this guy. Oh, what's it doing? Oh, it's teleporting me away. Okay, I think it's gonna like teleport me to like some sort of ba battleground to go and try and battle it. God, that was was that was that, was that just me? Was that really creepy? And it just like twitched like its fingers then? Because the, there's been so many of those guys. I'm not gonna trust any of them again. Anytime I complete a shrine and I'm getting a spirit orb, I'm always just gonna be on edge, just waiting for it to come alive and try and attack me. <laughs> right then, this is the battleground. 
little bit empty for for now. I don't know if there's anything's going to, to change. I did do a bunch of cooking before going to this divine beast, which is a weird thing to say before going into a battle, but it should uh, help me uh, to, to be able to, to keep my hearts up and kind of increase my damage and stuff as well, which is only going to, to be a good thing. First thing first, cheeky save time. Got to start things off with my cheeky save. You know how much I love my cheeky saves. So I don't want to eat anything now. I might as well wait until my hearts go down so I can put my hearts up at the same time. The one thing I might do is I might have a hasty elixir because that's just going to allow me just to, to move around quicker. Uh, I normally just have them when I'm like traveling long distances, but I think this is going to be a great time to, to be using it here. And then what weapons shall we use? Maybe we could use, yeah, let's, let's use, let's use this for a bit. This is going to break in a second anyway, so I might as well <laughs> get my, get my buddy's worth out of it. I could try throwing it at it because that does like extra bonus damage. Uh, so there we go. Got that uh, out of the, the way. Then let's maybe go and use the, the Royal Claymore. This seems to do a lot of damage. And oh, here we go. I'm getting some free hits in. I was able to like kind of stun it by throwing my sword at it. And oh, I might be to do that again actually because this one's about to break in a second anyway and oh i missed it i missed it and i broke my my sword well let's use the master sword that seems like the the fitting weapon of choice to to use here so what i really want to do is i want to stun it and then i want to go and try and use like my my lightning attack to try and do a, a whole load of damage like that uh, and that should stun it as well and give me a, a few kind of free chances to to do some some extra damage against it it doesn't seem too hard to get some hits in on it though but it's very very fast and can teleport around the place Place, which <laughs> doesn't make things too easy and oh gotta dodge gotta dodge gotta dodge i knew it was gonna go for me then whenever they start like dashing around like that you know it's gonna try and get you uh, but if you get the dodge back at the right time uh you should be able to get a chance to do a, a flurry attack against it so i am staying on edge and oh am i dodging too late or too early there i guess i can just keep doing backflips and then <laughs> hopefully get the the time right where is it oh where is it where is it oh, what's it doing oh it's like shooting through the ground can i glide up over that Ah, look at that. I can use that as a, an air booster to get over it. I haven't tried using my bow and arrow much either. I don't know what the, the chances are of me actually being able to, to hit it while it's dashing around. And whoa, okay. I do not want to, to allow that thing to, to hit me either because that did a whole load of damage. Well, let's try a different strategy then. Let's just try and uh, let's just try and get a strong hit on it. So like as it gets close to me, let's just try and get like a, a good damaging hit on it rather than trying to, to dodge it because the dodging uh, just doesn't seem to be working. So if I just like have my my sword just swinging ready, I might have a chance, but I need to get my, oh, I didn't glide. I need to get my glides better because that can just lift me up and should keep me out of harm ways for, for, for that thing. And it keeps just alternating between what it's doing. So right, get the good glide. And there we go. That got me up. And then dodge back down. I don't get a chance to hit it that way. So let's just swing the sword. So I got a hit on, on it. But then it got a hit on, on me as well. So it wasn't <laughs> it wasn't particularly amazing. Uh, so yeah, I think... Can I just outrun this thing? Is it going to keep coming? I think that guy's just going to keep coming until I glide away. So that's the way to deal with that. I was doing okay at the beginning of the fight. But this guy, it's just... It's just brutal what it's doing to, to me right now. Let's just get the glide to survive that. And then that dodges the, the other attack as well. I think I just need to get the dodge back at the right time. to Just to get the, the timing perfect. Just so I can then go and get a, a good flurry attack on it. So there we go. Oh no, it's still got me. I thought I dodged it. I did the ground pound, but a little bit too early. So is it going to do the ground attacker now? Okay, it is. It's like switching between the attacks, which makes it more difficult. So there we go. I dodged that. And did I get the ground pound? I did, but I didn't hit it. So let's just go for an attack. See if I can get a cheeky hit in. Not at all. So it's not damaging much, at least. I'm like doing nothing against it, like whatsoever. But it's not damaging me much either, which I guess is the only thing. So let's just try and get a dodge at the right time. I don't know if it even works. I don't know if it's even going to, to allow me to, to do a flurry attack against it. Do you think I'm supposed to use a bomb on that thing? Maybe that's what I'm supposed to be doing. Because that was kind of a thing that I've done for like other enemies. Maybe I can get that thing to eat up a bomb. And then... No, it didn't seem to do anything. Maybe if it just like a... um. A bomb hits it, that might stop it as well. Because the paragliding is kind of like an annoying thing to do. And it does hit me in the air as well. So let's let's see if we can just get a bomb to blow up while it's there. And that did nothing. That did absolutely nothing. I don't know what else I can do to, to deal with this thing. This is ridiculous. I can't even like... <laughs> like I've never had a boss fight that I just don't even know like how to like attack it. Because like other bosses... Like there was a boss just like this where it did like that quick moving thing. But I was able to jump back at the right time. And then I was able to, to kind of get a, a flurry attack. But it seems just to not be working with this guy. So unless I can hit it with an arrow or something. I just... I'm, I don't know. I'm just completely out of ideas for, for how to, to deal with it. And I don't think my my speed up is making a, uh, <laughs> a particularly big difference either. Oh, can I get a hit? 
Oh, that was my chance. Like, any time I even try and get a hit on, it's just gone. So, the only good thing is that, as I said, it's really just not doing very much damage uh, against me at the, the same time. Let's see if I can get it with an arrow. It's just not going to happen. And dodge, dodge, dodge. It still got me. Even trying to use the, the glide, it still ends up getting me. And I could, like, of course, use, like, Ravali's Gale and stuff as well. But I feel like I shouldn't... I don't know. I shouldn't need to, to do that. Oh, 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 it's down. I've tied it out. Okay. Okay. Maybe I just need to, to, like, dodge it for a certain amount of time to tire it out. I wanted to do a different attack against me, though. I've had enough of these attacks. Okay, it's doing something different. Kind of did something different for a little bit. Don't go back to doing that thing again. Please don't go back to doing it. Oh, there we go. I said, maybe I do just need to attack it at the, the right time. This this might be a little bit better now. Uh, okay, I didn't get a hit on it on that time. Let's try and glide out of this one. There we go. Then go straight for a ground pound. I just want to time that so I'm doing the, the ground pound, like just right as it lands next to me. But oh, that was close. It was close, but it ended up getting me. So I think maybe just like swinging my sword ready is the, the way to, to do it. Not working this time though. And it's once again going down for the, the ground attack. So I am assuming after a certain amount of time, it's going to change up its uh, attack pattern to something I can deal with a bit better. Oh, there we go. Okay, I did get the timing right. I guess I was just getting the timing wrong. So this is what I've been trying to do the whole time, is to get the, the dodge back, and then it will give me a chance to go and use a, a flurry attack. And that's what I was hoping for, and I was just about able to, to do it. But it looks like something's going to happen now. Okay, it looks like maybe it's going to be flying now. I might have a, a chance to, to use my, my bow and arrow. My master sword is running low on energy as well, so I might have to switch around. Ah! Do I need to do I need to keep track on like the the true one? Do you think, or do I just need to defeat all of them? <laughs> right, let's go and switch around to another weapon. Seeing as all my swords keep breaking, I guess I can use this great flame sword. And there are a million of these guys. They are absolutely all over the place. How am I supposed to keep track of all of these guys? And they have different attacks by the looks of things as well. Let's just try and do like constant dodging. Then maybe I can get a cheeky flurry attack on one of them. Okay, these guys are charging up. I haven't even hit any of these guys. It looks like as I swing, though, and get them, the, the ones that are, like, not the, the true one uh, kind of end up disappearing. Maybe I could, like, spam them with arrows. Oh, you know what would be good? You know the bows that, like, fire three arrows at the, the same time? Maybe this would be good, because I can kind of fire it into, like, a group of them, and that might be able to, like, take out one or two of them at the, the same time. And, oh, this is the real one. This is the real one here. Okay. <laughs> I've lost track of which one it was, but one of that, that one there was the real one. Let's try and use a lightning attack. And there we go. I knocked it down. I knew it was close. They were all close by to me, and I was able to, to get it by using the, the lightning attack. It didn't do a huge amount of damage compared to what I would have uh, of hoped, though. But I guess it was, uh, it was okay. It wasn't too bad. So, right, let's see if we can, uh, whoa, that was crazy. Oh, if they do that again, I might get another chance to do the, the lightning attack. And oh, that was my chance to get it then. I was too slow. Okay, looks like there's only kind of one of them for, for now. Let's fire the arrows through them. Oh, well, there we go. I got it. I got it. Let's go and do some more damage. This is such a crazy fight. I only get like a tiny bit of damage in though. So I think I might switch to a, a stronger bow. Let's maybe use the, the Royal Guards bow because this one is like ridiculously high damage. And which one's the real one? That's not the real one there. Let's maybe just start swinging my sword ready, because I think they're all going to attack me. Oh, okay, fire the arrow through them all. Fire the arrow through them all. Which one is it? Just keep firing the arrows. Keep firing the arrows, and... Okay, that was the real one there, I think. Or is this the real one? Or is that the real one? <laughs> is, is this the real one? That's the real one. The one that I haven't hit once yet was the, the real one. <laughs> I don't know if this great fire sword's good, because it's kind of good at the beginning, when it is, like, on fire. But then it kind of like you lose the, the fire and then it doesn't feel like it's going to be as good. And so like I kind of run out of fire just attacking all of the, the little guys. And then by the time I start to like attack the, the big one, like the, the fire is all gone. And uh, is the master? Okay, oh, the master sword hasn't, hasn't gone yet. Let's use, the, um, let's use the master sword a bit more now. And then I guess we can leave it recharging as we go and try and attack some of the, the other ones. Uh, so yeah, let's just go and try and take out all of these guys. I'm getting a bit damaged as well. So I might have something to, to eat as well, just to, just to keep me going. Um, I guess I want something that's just going to put stuff up and my health. So this is going to put my attack up. And then I want something to put my defense up as well. And then I can just go and eat some fruit as well, just to, to put the, the health up the, the rest of the way. Because I want as much health <laughs> as I can have. Uh, my energy sword's run out of, uh, not my energy sword, my master sword has run out of energy now. So I guess we, we go back to, to this. I really don't have many hugely other powerful weapons. So I guess this will have to do. I'm trying to save my arrows a little bit more. Do you think maybe using my bombs might be a way to go? If I could drop a bomb down there, that might be a, bit, uh, a good way to, to blow up a, a few of them at the, the same time if I can. Uh, I just need to get that. I don't know if it's a case of you have to destroy all of them and then whichever one's left is the, the real one. Because I see it seems to like always be a case of the ones I aim for are never actually the, the real one. Oh, there we go. That one was the real one. So oh, I just got the tiniest hit on it. Like the second it's revealed as to, to which one it is, then it seems to be like going, oh no, 
This is bad. Okay, just keep swinging. One of the oh, okay, they're just all gonna hurt me. They're just all gonna get me. I think that I'm using like two slow weapons as well. Like for that situation there, I think I just need to to use like a faster weapon just so I can get some like quicker hits in. Oh, there we go. That was an an okay amount of damage to to do there. Yes, yeah, so let's just go and try and use some bombs. Oh, there we go. That seemed to, to work pretty nicely there. I just threw, like, the bombs into to all of them. And that pretty much revealed, like... Well, it kind of got rid of most of them. Uh, so that was a, a pretty good way to, to go. There's only, like, a few left. I really want to go and try and use that that lightning attack again if I can. Speaking of a lightning attack. <laughs> yeah, I really want to... Oh, oh, did I get rid of it? There we go. This is what I want to equip. Yeah, I really want to try and use the, the lightning attack if uh, if I can. Like, like Naboris's Fury, I think it's called. Because uh, that will allow me to, to stun them. So yeah, there we go. Let's try and use it now. No, don't go, don't go. No. Okay, that's the problem. If I end up using it and I don't actually hit it, then that's going to be absolutely awful. Because that's like one of my, my strongest ways to attack anyone. They're all backing up. And okay, then they all charge it at the same time. That would have been the, the perfect time to do it then. I would have been guaranteed to, to get it there. And it always just hangs around a little bit like longer, but I'm always too slow to get it. So let's just charge this up now. Then as they come in, wait for it, wait for it, and go, 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 go. Did I get them? Did I stun them? Oh, yes, they're down here. Okay, I was, too, I was too slow. Oh, no, that's cheating. You are off the arena there. That is not in the rule book, I'm afraid to say. <laughs> okay, oh, no, just run. Oh, just run, just run, just run. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to reveal the real one, but hopefully I'm just going to stay alive for a little bit longer. That was absolutely terrifying. And okay, that's the real one there. Okay, not even close with the bomb. Might be able to get a cheeky arrow on it before it goes. Oh, there we go. That did a bit of damage. Uh, I can't really do much else. I guess I can fire another arrow at it before it teleports uh, away. That got a little bit of extra damage. I don't have um, many arrows left, though. But let's go for this lightning attack again, because that seemed to work really well. And, oh, it's, it's not charging it up. Okay, do it, do it, do it now, do it now, do it now, because they're all going to come. And did I get it? Did I get them? I did. They're down. Oh, but I got I got put into ice as well at the same time. There we go. That stopped it from, from leaving. Uh, but I'm running out of these normal arrows. So let's maybe switch to uh, fire arrows. Get one last cheeky shot in. But nope, I wasn't able to get the, the cheeky shot in. But he's off again. He is off. The, the monk has gone away and is going to attack us with something else. This has been quite the boss battle. This is intense. Like, it's just so hard just to do any damage against this guy. He's just absolutely all over the place. And now he's massive. Of course he's massive. <laughs> right, what's he going to throw at me this time? Probably literally what is he going to, to throw at me this time? He's down to like half health at least. So did the... Okay, oh, it looks like my bone arrows do do a, a decent amount of damage against him as well. So at least I got a chance to actually uh, attack him. Uh, but all these guys are going after me. So can I use Magnesis on them? I think I can. So let's see if I can get... Oh, maybe uh, maybe Stasis? If I can use Stasis on them, then I might be able to to knock them back at him. Might be the, the real way to, to do some damage. So let's, try and, uh, let's try and use some... I guess if I use a, a bomb arrow... I might be able to, to launch it back at him that way. Let's just go and fire a few bomb arrows like this. And let's see if that's going to send it flying back into, into his face. Nope, it just dropped down on the, the floor. So I think what I need to do is I need to use stasis a little bit uh, later on. So it's a little bit lower down. And then I might be able to, to use like a um, like a hammer or something. Just to go and try and whack it back at him. Because those spiky balls look like they're going to do a crazy amount of damage if they're going to be able to, to hit him. So let's just do something to, to get my defense up. Because attack doesn't seem to matter too much for, for this stage. Just because I'm not really getting too many chances to, to hit him. It's more about just kind of knocking back all of those, uh, those balls when I can. So... Yeah, I'm not even hurting him at all right now. So let's see. What's he going to do? He's doing a bit of a dance. Right. Here come the, the balls again. Oh, this is good. They're down on the, the ground now. So I want to get out my, my hammer. We're kind of waving a little bit all over the place. This look, look, looks like it's lined up pretty nicely, though. No. Oh, okay. The ball's lifted up. This might work okay. It might just fire it into the ground, though. Ah, oh, see, it, it shifted. It shifted. You know what? I might be able to grab this ball again, though. Come on. Come on, Stasis. Stasis, stay here. I might be able to get... Oh, I blew up. That's cheating. <laughs> I'm just going to Stasis him out of spite and go for a headshot. <laughs> that was probably a waste because, uh, yeah, he's going to go and start doing the balls again. Are my arrows doing anything against this guy? No, no. Okay, I've got to reflect. i got to reflect. i got to reflect. No, oh, oh, press the wrong button. Oh, it's got the controls wrong then. Okay, once again, I might have to go quiet to, to be able to, to reflect. If he's going to keep doing that. But this is a good chance to do some damage, though, because I'm generally okay at this at all. What's he doing now? Oh no, not these again! Not these again! This just lifted me up into the, the sky. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. I guess it would be a way to get up to him. Right, I gotta go quiet to try and reflect this though. No! Oh no, did I do it? Okay, I think I think I had to like kind of be saved at the, the same time, but still, uh, that went okay. Uh, but I want a, a stronger weapon going into to damage him now, though, because uh, I'm only holding the, the hammer. And let's see if I can go and do the big lightning attack. Okay, I'm just doing a big spinning attack. 
that did okay. That did uh, an all right uh, amount of damage uh, against him. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's still recharging that move. But it should recharge relatively quick now I've done the, the DLC. So hopefully that's going to be back by the, the end of the, the fight. But I really want to go in and try and use stasis with one of these bulls again now if I can. So I kind of want to wait to one of the, the last ones. So then like I'm not going to be hit by the other one. So there we go. Oh no, I, I missed it. Oh no, I, st I stasis him. Oh, that's annoying. That's annoying. Let's see. Can I stasis one of these guys here before they disappear? No, I don't think I can. Okay, I missed my chance there. Yeah, I accidentally stasis him rather than the, the ball. And now he's charging up. A, is that a, a lightning attack he's going to do? Nope. He's just off again. <laughs> right. What's coming up next? What's he going to pull out of his, his box of tricks next? Okay. I think this is where he does the balls again, but like the, the level shifting. So I want to do it way earlier than I did last time because last time I looked like I did it perfectly, but then like everything shifted and I ended up missing out the, because of it. And oh no, get out of the way. Oh no, I need to get to that one. Get up, Link. Link, get up. Oh no. Okay. This is going to be a fail. This is going to be a fail unless I can get one last hit in. Not going to happen. Not going to be happen. Ah, oh, I thought I was going to have it then. That was like perfectly lined up for me, but then I messed up. Hopefully he does that again, because I reckon that's going to be my best way to deal like a huge amount of damage against him. If I'm able to, to hit one of them, I guess I can go for a cheeky headshot. Is that doing like literally any damage? I don't think it is. I think it's literally not doing anything, but let's uh, see whether we can uh, get the, the, the reflecting again. Did I do it? Okay, that was good. That was good. It didn't do very much damage though, but it does knock him down on the, the ground and that does give me a chance for like a, a few more bonus hits in. Like this is like the most consistent damage I've done against him so far, but it's still like nothing. But my, um, was it Naboris's Fury, whatever it is, uh, is really close to, to coming back now. So that can make this way better. Sorry once again for going quiet, but that's my only way to, to be able to, to get the, the timing. Otherwise, I'm absolutely awful at that. Even so, I don't think I got the, the timing quite perfect. But hey, I was able to, to stun him. And that was another nice chunk of damage. And I got my Fury thingy back as well. So next time, I'll be able to use my Lightning Attack and do way, way, way more damage against it. And also doing... Okay, it's doing this move again now. Let's see if I can use this to get attacked. <laughs> I was going to say, let's see if I can use that to get high enough to attack him. But I don't think that was going to, to happen. Right. We're going back to the uh, the spiky ball attacks by the, the looks of things. So uh, let's go and get the, the, the hammer out ready. And let's see if we can get a, a nice reflect. So let's just go in early and just go and grab this one. So far. Oh, no, no, don't shift. See, this is what messes me up. That's what messes me up. It just goes up high in the, the sky like that. And now there's not really like anything I can do against it. Oh, it did fall down again. And go. If I get one hit on it. Oh, I thought if I got one hit on it, it might be just about enough. But sadly, uh, it looked like uh, it wasn't. I wonder if I... I can't even stasis the floor because I need to stasis the ball. And stasis doesn't recharge quick enough. So that wasn't very good. Let's go back to the, the great sword again then. And let's see what he's going to, to throw at me this time. To be fair, yeah, I kind of like the, the laser. This is the, the thing that I'm doing best at. Okay, that was a great reflect. Charging in immediately. And then let's go for the, the lightning attack if we can. Do it, do it, charge it, charge it, charge it. And there we go. Lightning attack. Did that do much damage? That did like nothing. That did like no extra damage whatsoever. I mean, it might have been slightly better. Oh, it oh, knocked him out again, I think. Okay, it did. It knocked him back down and gave me a chance to get a few more bonus hits in. But now he's like stamping on me. So that's not good. <laughs> I mean, if we can get the lightning attack again now, though, let's see if that would stun him. Go and use the lightning attack. Go, go, go. Do it now. Is that going to stun him? Is that going to knock him down? That did. That knocked him down on the ground again. There. I get a few more nice bonus hits in here. And I could probably do it again if I want. Right, I need to, to jump. Okay, that didn't help. <laughs> I thought jumping might lessen the uh, the impact of that one. But it didn't. Now might be a great time, though, to put my attack up. Because since I'm actually starting to, to actually get some hits in on him, it would be great to, to be doing more damage when I am hitting him. So there we go. This should knock him down on the, the ground again. Then let's get as many hits in as we can. That was good. That was good. I should probably back off a little bit now, though, because he is stamping on me. But at least I'm doing, like, consistent damage against him now, which is uh, something that hasn't been happening too much. It might be worth just, like absorbing the, the stomp attacks just to do the damage on him because I, I don't want him to start flying up to the, the sky again or anything. So I think I'm just going to like eat up the, the stomp attacks just in order to get the damage on him. And if I have my shield up as well, the next one I should be protected from. Yeah, there we go. So that that didn't do too much damage there because I was protected from it. He keeps making like little versions of himself that he keeps just like stamping on them. <laughs> it just takes them out himself. But look at his health now. Look at his health. His health is so unbelievably no, uh, low. I'm just so close to getting him. And I did it. I think I did it. It wasn't a heroic battle. I struggled. I ended up taking him out by hitting him in his big toe. <laughs> but I believe I have now defeated him. And I have proven myself as a worthy warrior and uh, capable of handling my very own divine beast. 
What a battle, guys. We were in that one for the long haul. Thank you for your patience. <laughs> we did it, though. So I'm going to go and shut up and uh, allow you to, to watch the, the cutscene without me rattling on over it. You faced that challenge with great courage. You have erased all doubt from my mind. You are a true hero. As such, you were destined to take hold of this ancient masterpiece. I got myself a motorbike. That's right. I never mentioned it before what it was. I'm sure a lot of you knew those. So basically, the reward for completing the DLC is a motorbike. I'm not joking. It's kind of like a, a unicorn motorbike, I guess. I didn't realize it was that big. Is, it is that like a, a weird like trick of like perspective? Or is it actually that big? Is it enormous? I guess it does make it a little bit more like a, a divine beast. So basically, this is a vehicle that I can use to like travel around the world. I can't tell if it's actually like, is it is it enormous or was it just from that view made it look enormous? Because that'd be really funny, just like a huge motorbike with like a tiny little baby Link just like riding on top of it. Like, yeah, here I go. <laughs> this is great though, because I left so much stuff in the world for me to discover. There's so many shrines left and missions and that. I'm so glad I didn't do them all before I got the, the Master Cycle Zero, it's called. Insert materials into the tank to convert them into fuel. You can freely call upon this item, but summoning it will not work in certain areas. So I guess like drawing shrines and stuff and that it won't uh, allow you to, to call it in, which I guess makes sense. But when traveling around Hyrule, I will be able to, to use it. That which you have obtained is a masterpiece of innovation created by the one true hero. Hero of Hyrule, may the goddess smile upon you. Yeah, it's alright, you've been all chummy now after you've just attacked me so much. You could have killed me just for your silly little troll. You silly monk. I don't trust you or any of the other monks anymore after that. You terrified me when you first came to a life. And then you brutally attacked me for half an hour <laughs> while I struggled to get you. Oh, look at the little motorbike. Oh, look at it doing a wheelie. <laughs> you see all of the, the giant divine beast going along. There's the little, the little unicorn motorbike doing a wheelie. Oh, I can't wait to do this. This is going to be so much fun. This is going to be so much fun going around the, the world riding my new toy. And oh no, not Cass again. Don't sing me one of your songs, Cass. I don't want to sing. I'm not in a singing mood, Cass. If you're going to sing, that's fine. Don't make me just have to read it, though, so I have to sing. Hmm. Ah, it's you. I can't put a feather on it, but I get the feeling you're even more accomplished than you were when we last met. I happen to have the perfect song, don't you do this, for someone as esteemed as you. I would love to sing it for you. Well, sing it then. Don't make it so I have to sing it, because everyone hates it when I sing it. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna sing I love singing it, really. <laughs> I finally completed the key verse. This lofty location is the perfect stage to sing this special song. It takes place a hundred years ago at Hyrule Castle. Yes, the very castle you can still see over yonder. It's about the magnificent inauguration of the Chosen Champions. If you would please listen to my special song. The Champion's Ballad. Thank you for joining me here today. 
and for your bravery in accepting this fateful task. I officially appoint you Hyrule's champions and bestow upon you this sacred garb. That blue is a symbol of the royal family, one that has been passed down for countless generations. Those garments you now wear were all crafted by my daughter, Zelda. Zelda, I trust you with the task only a daughter of the royal family can fulfill. Lead our champions, princess. And together, protect our kingdom from the threat of Calamity Ganon. It's just like Disney World, like the castle of the fireworks and stuff. Did anyone else just immediately think of Disney World? Yeah. I tell you, those formal shindigs really take it out of me. Hmm. This is the Sheikah slate, eh? It is. Apparently, there are more uses for it than we originally thought. Sadly, we've yet to decipher all of its secrets. The princess showed me something strange recently. Somehow it can create true-to-life images. Wow. I would love to see it. Um, princess? May I ask a special favor of you? All right. This spot should work nicely. Keep your eyes on the Sheikah Slate, everyone! Uh, Daruk, can you crouch down a bit? You're as big as Death Mountain. Huh? Oh. What's with the glum face, Princess? Give me a big smile. Huh? <sighs> Ravali, move your tail closer to the group. Ugh, fine. Mifa, you look so tense. Deep breaths, okay? Right. Stay just like that. Here we go. Smile. Click snap. That was nice. And I didn't need to sing. <laughs> it just makes me like want to go back a hundred years ago and live in that version of Hyrule rather than the empty, deserted, destroyed one that we're in now. After this ceremony, they would all forever be known as champions. My teacher always advised me to write songs that transport the listener to the moment in time you're singing of. Now I finally feel I understand what he meant and the true power of music. By the way, I found this when I was looking through my teacher's notes. I was thinking you should be the one to keep it. Your courageous heart reminds me of the indomitable spirit of the champions. <laughs> I know your treasure it. Ah, the picture of the champions. Oh, I got the picture. A final thought. May the souls of the champions who watch over Hyrule rest in peace. Link. 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 I have watched your journey. Every step. You have overcome every challenge with great courage. With the power that you have attained. I am certain you can defeat Calamity Ganon. Well, I'll certainly give it my best shot. True. So that is the, the Champion's Ballad complete. The, the DLC. Oh, look at the top left of the screen. 
one button press away from riding around with my very own motorbike. <laughs> that was amazing. So there's still a, a bunch more uh, stuff for, for me to, to do. Obviously, got to destroy Ganon. I got all of the, the other captured memories. There's also like the, the first DLC. I don't think I'm going to do this like a big combat thing. I don't think I'm going to do that just because apparently it takes a while and it's really difficult and I think it'll get a bit boring just fighting over and over again. Uh, but yeah, I do want to find the, the memories and uh, try and find some of the, the armor and stuff as well. So we're not... We are not completely done here before we go up against Ganon. So, yeah, uh, there'll be plenty more Zelda coming up very soon. Sorry, 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 but I'm not going to use the, the hero cycle yet. I'm going to wait until the next episode just so I can have a, a full, like, bunch of time uh, trying around with it. This video has gone on for, like, ever and ever and ever already. So, let's have a break. Let's all have a Zelda break for now, okay? Then we'll all be rejoined together in the next episode. And then we'll go and take it for a spin and have some fun. Okay? Yeah, is that all right? Don't tell me off. I think that's a smart thing to do. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> but don't worry, there will be a link down in the description to the next episode once it's online, as well as the playlist down there with all of the Zelda videos in a row, uh, if you want to go and check them out. But for now, I'm going to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!